Hi, my name is Amir Salha. I'm currently a student at Bentley University in Boston, Massachusetts. And I've been working here in Tokyo for the last five weeks as a sales and client outreach intern at an augmented reality company called Payland Incorporated. Um, so I was brought in to try and increase client outreach in the overseas area outside of Japan for my company which was an augmented reality technology company. So what did that include in my my day-to-day -day business? Well, most of it was sending outbound emails using a service called Apollo, where you can reach other companies and reach the managers and founders and head positions of those companies to send proposals to them, as well as just doing research on which avenues would be best for the company to take, whether that be digital media marketing companies, whether they be end user clients, and just providing this information in a presentable way to my, my boss or superior, who was the co-founder of Paylan. And yeah, eventually we managed to secure a client in India. And so my internship here was successful from my point of view and from my employer's point of view. And that was pretty much all that it included. My experience working with the company was really nice because they were very flexible with working remotely and working in office. And we came to an agreement that as long as I was able to fulfill the requirements of what they wanted from the position, they didn't mind if I was in office or not. And they gave me a lot of opportunities to really explore Japan. And I'd say my favorite parts of living here were probably the food, which is a lot of variety in the people who are very nice and respectful, and the uh, sights and scenes, which are quite beautiful to see in Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, and all across the country. I think I would absolutely recommend it for those who have the means, and especially if there are no local opportunities for internships where you may live. Why would I recommend it? Well, for one, the living experience of living abroad by yourself while working can be really rewarding. Secondly, you get to experience a foreign culture of a country you've never been to before, which is always a um, good life experience. And thirdly, it would probably look a lot better on your resume, displaying to workers that, or to potential employers that you're able to work abroad by yourself and do a good job. And yeah. The first one would be to do with preparation. You want to do your best job to prepare for the interview, that means coming up with background research on the company, being able to effectively explain your skills and why you would benefit the company in that role, and also coming up with some of your own questions, which shows your potential employer that you're already thinking as an employee and that you have insights to bring to the position. As well as that on preparation, I'd say preparing for your trip, knowing if there's certain places you want to visit, certain events you want to go to, you should know about that beforehand to save as much time when you're actually in the location you're going to. Uh, lastly, I'd say just to persevere and to do the best job you can of selling yourself because you really have nothing to lose. If you don't get the position, but you tried your best, it's better than knowing that you could have given more.